What's up guys, Dreamcast Guy here. So I've been getting the same question over and over again this week and I'm very eager to answer it. And that is, what came before the Big Bang? Now this is a question I like a lot. Cosmology has been a hobby of mine for about 15 years now. Cosmology, of course, is the study of space, not to be confused with cosmetology, which is the study of putting lipstick on. So here we go. Now, we're going to be covering three main theories today. These theories are going to be extremely condensed, extremely shorthand versions and I encourage you to Google these, do research, check out uh, theories, look at the refutations, read books on the subject. These are just going to be very shorthand versions to try and cover the questions. So let's jump right in. Theory number one, the cyclical universe theory. Now this says that before the Big Bang were other Big Bangs. That basically there was the initial the Big Bang, all things expand, 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 run out of energy, atrophy, slowly the elasticity of the universe pulls everything back in. This is what they call the big crunch. And then all things recombine. All light energy, all dark energy, all of everything ever recondenses. And that re-crushing everything re-explodes all over again. This is what they call rapid expansion, 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 atrophy, running out of energy, elasticity, all things gravitational pull recombines it, big crunch. And it's just literally billions and billions of times over. The whole universe just comes in, crunches, re-expands, re-crunches, re-expands, re-crunches. This is a really interesting theory. I liked it a lot when I was younger. One of the interesting parts about this theory is that they say that if this is happening, then literally this exact thing has probably happened before. This exact thing has probably happened billions of times before. Because on an infinite scale of expansion, recombination, all planets will be formed in every single possible combination. There's even going to be small differences, like instead of Shadow being here, instead he's here. And that would be the only universal difference, is that one small change. Because in an infinite time scale, all things are repeated infinite numbers of times. I'm not going to get too, too much into the probability part of this math. I will say that this, this theory is actually almost completely refuted at this point. By measuring star distances over the course of decades, we actually now are pretty sure that the universe is accelerating farther away. That instead of things slowing down, they're actually speeding up as they fly away from each other. So... Theory number two is the pocket universe theory, and that's that there's a Big Bang somewhere in one universe, and it expands, and in the course of its expansion, it expels so much energy that it actually starts to create other universes at the same time, and we are a creation of those universes. Now, this is interesting because it basically says that if this is true, then we have actually created other universes as well. Now, there's no way to get to these universes. We can't see these universes. This is our one observable universe. But this theory is interesting. Some people even refer to it as the multiverse foam, where there was a big bang and it's expanding and the massive amounts of energy it's putting off creates smaller universes and then their expansion causes other small universes. And so it's literally just a constant field of bubbles of universes all creating each other, which I like this theory just because it's interesting to think about that with all of our energy, all the technology the human race will ever have or any alien species will ever have, you cannot puncture your way out of one universe and go into another universe, at least not by any current standard and model would show. So the final theory is the one that I think personally is the most true. This is the theory that Einstein himself has talked about, and that is that there was no before the Big Bang. It doesn't exist. Time began in our universe when the Big Bang happened. Before that, there was no time. There was a single atom that existed outside the ideas of space and time. Because space and time did not yet exist. They just didn't. People who sometimes have trouble understanding this concept that's just a little foreign to them. So the way I explain it to them is, where were you before you were born? Now, my Hindu friends will say, well, I was in another body, I was living another life, I was serving another part of my service as a soul. And I say, okay, but my real name is Max Shockley, and let's say, Max Shockley, where was Max Shockley before he was born? Nowhere. Even if my soul was somewhere else in another body or whatever, Max Shockley did not yet exist. He was nowhere. He wasn't a twinkle in his Lord's eye or anything. I was not existing. So for me, there is no before my birth. That time does not exist. There is no standpoint. There is no marker. So 
that's my real idea there. This is the three main theories. They're very, very shorthanded. I strongly, strongly recommend you do more research on this. My friends who are better cosmologists than I are and have done more research than I, please correct me in the comments. I know I, a lot of times when I try and condense this all down, I, I skim over some of the, the very major points. Uh, so please correct me in the comments. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Feel free to uh, share this video if you thought it was interesting and subscribe. Uh, I really like making this stuff. So uh, ask me more questions. If they're interesting, I'll do a video on those. So thanks so much for watching and keep dreaming.